How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Still gaming here. Uh, myself, Dwayne's World, aka Dwayne Jake. Introduce yourselves, gentlemen. My name is Dr. Cartoons, always on that cartoon hustle, aka Barry Savage. You already know what it is. Huh. Straight to the foot, man. Let's talk about the nitty gritty. All oh, about the ashy feet and everything, man. Let's do this damn thing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, today we're going to be talking about YouTube and the fact that they have actually um, removed Steven Crowder from its part from their partner program indefinitely. And Shame on them. they've also. Yeah, they've also banned uh, his YouTube. Tem- it's only a temporary ban, but they've banned his YouTube channel oh, from him posting stuff up on YouTube. His channel is still very accessible. You can still watch uh, Louder with Crowder. And um, he can't post anything, however. And uh, Twitch, oh, sorry, Twitter, my mistake, has also banned him for the third time. In two months. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as he says, there was literally no reason given. Literally literally no reason given. Like he was just like banned. And this is for the second time in in a month. And uh, he's been banned three times in two months. Um, (laughs) They definitely don't like him. Wait, what do you mean there was no reason? So he just woke up in the morning and they're like... Okay, your ass is banned. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He just made one tweet. Actually, you know what? What's ironic is... Hold on, let me put that up. Um, he made a tweet about how Twitter banned him unfairly the last time. And they banned him again. <laughs> <laughs> so it was spiteful. It was like, oh, you're going to talk shit about us? Okay, ban. <laughs> See? So he must have done something. He didn't do anything. He just said Twitter banned me. And it was unfair, or probably something along those lines. If I can find that tweet, it's just probably taking Yeah, but I'm just saying there's something he must have said in the video. He must have done something. He might be talking shit about Twitter and Twitter's like, you know what? We, we done with your fuck ass, man. They don't even bother having the common courtesy of telling you why you're getting banned. They're just maybe, like, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking maybe somebody re- reported his video, something. Exactly. Say that again. Possible. Maybe Say somebody flag somebody flag his, his video or something. And we come back to cancel culture. And we come back <laughs> to the fact that people can go and mass report something and Twitter just automatically takes them to um you know, takes them to face value and says, Okay, this person must be banned because or sorry, not banned, must be bad because X, Y, and Z and million other X, Ys, and Zs are saying the same thing. Or just X's. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of X's, <laughs> no Y's. <laughs> yeah, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely thinking somebody flag his video. It has to be because if there's no reason, normally it has to do with somebody hitting on your video. Yeah, a lot of X's, no Y's. Okay. Uh, yeah, he must be an Uncharted fan, man, or something. Oh yeah, yeah. He always do that, man. This guy is so controversial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm being well, real, yo. He was being arrested and all that jazz. And we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to show it. But YouTube basically stated that it was a racist tirade. What are your thoughts, gentlemen, on that? Honestly. Listen, I think it's, I think it's bullshit because that video is everywhere. It's all over the news. Everybody's seen that video. So how come as soon as he posted, YouTube want to ban him for that shit? And there's way more worse shit on YouTube that I've seen even way crazier than that video so i don't think it has anything to do with that video it probably has something to do with what he said he probably saying something about george floyd that somebody didn't like and i'm sure a lot of people flagged the video because i know how yeah. very controversial he is because even yeah. I, I, I remember when the whole george floyd thing started he was actually against george floyd because he was talking about how 
George Floyd is a criminal, his past life, he's bringing out his past life and all the stuff he has done. So mm-hmm. I could see why a lot of people would hate the video that he's doing. Even sometimes I don't like the videos that he's doing because he's just talking yeah. way reckless. So I'm telling you, it has to do with people, the cancel culture just getting on his ass, definitely. That's yeah, I, what agree. I, I agree, I agree, yeah. I, but, at the, but at the end of the day, I also believe in freedom of speech. If he, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. I, I don't have exactly. to agree with it, but I'm not going to go s- dislike his video or flag his video because he's he's speaking his mind. If I don't like it, I'm just not going to watch it, period. Precisely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not what he showed, but what he said after that somebody didn't like. Although, you know what? It was facts. I watched it. It was cringe. I didn't like it personally. I exactly. really didn't like it. But, but sometimes he's go- speaking facts. Exactly. He's because he is fact, like he does speak truth. Like there's some truth to what he does say. And I have to agree with him on I still don't agree with him on a lot of things. And I I I don't watch his videos and I don't watch his channel as much as I should. But sometimes what he says is pure facts. And you're like, ah oh, damn, you know what? The man is right. <laughs> he is right. As much as we hate to admit it, sometimes he is right. And I agree with him on some aspects, but some I don't, and I find quibs in that. Uh, Doctor Cartoons, what do you think? Um, you may not, you may agree with what he says or disagree what he says, but this is a big mistake that YouTube has done. Congratulations, and Twitter, congratulations! You made the man. Ten times more popular than he is right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta true. agree with that. Yeah, it's true. Like, no, 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 it, that's true because now everybody's gonna look into it. Of course, exactly. And you see, the thing is, when you get banned, and when you get banned or suspended or anything like that, it's a fucking badge of honor. You gave this man a badge of honor. Guess yep. what? He in the to be honest, he can leave his content and go on a Patreon website and make his bank money off of there. He doesn't need YouTube shit. He can go to Fox News and do his thing on his segment on there. He doesn't need YouTube. This is the thing. When you make people popular, they become mainstream. And when you make them mainstream, guess what? You lost. You just congratulations. You think like YouTube. And Twitter thought they did a good thing. No, it's going to bite them right up the ass. And the thing is, though, they lost. They lost. They And the problem is with this, you got to realize this. You cannot put a Band-Aid on things like this. You cannot take away people's freedom of speech. When you do that shit, guess what? It's going to retaliate right back at you. You should have left it be. And now look what happened. You just made the man popular. I mean, he I was mean, already popular to begin no, with, right? But, yeah, he but, was popular, but yeah. this, this shit is the final. Like, this is the final form. Yeah. You just. You know, I agree like, with you. I like, agree with you because. Like, conserve- Sorry, go ahead. Because he's go popular ahead. now. But mm-hmm. when you ban him, he is two times popular as he is right now. <laughs> That's fine, but the only part I disagree with you with, Doc, is uh the part where you say he could go get a job somewhere like news channels and stuff like that. The, the only place that would probably accept him is like uh, Fox. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, I said that's Fox. the only place. Yeah, just conservative bias, just as much as CNN is liberal bias. Liberal biased, yeah, yeah. left wing, yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean? That like, is the only what? place I could see him being accepted. But apart yeah. from that. He's very out there, and the stuff he talks about, trust me, very controversial. So I don't see him. I think he's still going to stay on YouTube and things like that. I disagree with him with the George Floyd thing. I mean, the facts that he was pulling was true, but those are his past life. Like, you, you can't really bring out somebody's past life because of the situation that's happening right now. The situation that was happening right now is the police was wrong. He wasn't in the wrong. The police was wrong. 
I see why people were getting mad at him. Even when I was watching Afros, the way he was talking about it, I'm like, what the hell? Like, the man is dead and you bringing out his past life and all the bad things he have done. So that means the police had the right to treat him wrong because he'd done something wrong in the past? No. But Sounds it is like what it is. Sounds like counterculture, man. Basically, <laughs> man. Sounds yeah. like counterculture. They'll dig up your shit and it's like, oh, you're canceled. When you try to ban something a person that speaks his mind or has an opinion on something that you may not like or you may agree with and you're banning someone, I'm sorry, you just gave this man a badge of honor. You just gave them the seal of approval. Now you've got you've got the uh, hard right. You've got the hard right that goes, hey, you know what? I've never heard about Steven Crowder before. Let's go Google him. And you know yes. what? Here's another thing. Here's another thing. He's, his Louder with Crowder has been banned. For a week only. However, he continues. He continues to put um, content on his other channel. Yeah, and guess yeah. what? He's gonna be, he's gonna be gaining more subscribers over there. But yeah, like I mean, seriously, man, shutting one channel down doesn't doesn't that doesn't, doesn't stop someone. Like Chris said, it just gives them more steam. It gives them more recognition. Yeah. It kind of boosts their image. Exactly. Um, He's got a second channel. His second channel is going to be um, gaining more subscribers right now. He's he's still um, posting stuff up on that second channel. I said, right? Oh, see? There we go. Somebody on Twitter said the same thing. Yeah, man. YouTube, YouTube's punishment, less than a week long suspension, and he's allowed to keep posting on his secondary channel. Um, I like the fact that one channel comes down. YouTube lets you keep your secondary channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least they're not taking this man's livelihood away. Mm -hmm. um, because Louder with Crowder does also employ other people. Yeah. It's a full-blown um, production, right? right? So there's people who are employed, sound, stage, etc. And this is what the cancel culture fails to understand. You're killing people's livelihoods by canceling someone. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? And, yeah, like, like I said, brother... Um, yeah. This, this guy, really like, like I said, this should be canceled. The thing is, though, like I said, man, if you try to cancel this dude, guess what? It's not gonna happen because listen, he has opportunities. He exactly. Has opportunities in the conservatives, the conservative in the right side, right? So you're not really, you're not really taken away from anything. This guy can go on a Patreon. This guy can go to Fox News, and he can make his man, money. I'm sure. I'm sure he already have a Patreon. He's making money off of everything. Oh, yeah, he's making yeah. bank buck, yeah. He's yeah, making man. bank buck off his Patreon, yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, man, this is not really hurting him. It's just making him more likable. The thing is, a weak band is something because, like I said before, it's a badge of honor. Yeah, but he's got a second channel as well, right? It's just, this, is just, this is just promoting his second channel. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. It's just, it's just promotion it's, for his second channel, which nobody goes free, to. Well, it's a free promotion for him. Exactly. Right. So, okay, so man. final thoughts. Final thoughts, gentlemen. Final uh, thoughts. Like I said, you may you can disagree with him. You may not. You may disagree or agree with him. But at the end of the day, banning someone of freedom of speech. Guess what? It just backfires on you. And I think it was it was kind of a a stupid decision that you two made. So congratulations you just made the guy 10 times more popular so there you go to the foot man like i said if you don't like what somebody's saying get the fuck off the page go find somebody that talks about the same thing you like and leave the person alone no it's that simple man there's nothing no else to right. it. like yeah you don't have really, to feed into it you don't like yeah it, you, you don't like it move on to like there's no because that man got to feed his family too and whatever he's saying or Unfortunately, I don't like it, but there is people that agrees with him, and that's how he feeds his family. There's no point of you going to cut off the man's freaking resources right. to feed his family and things like that. So, yeah, man. Yeah. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our final thoughts. And if you do like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Okay? And tell us what it, you like, think. Times. <laughs> hit it hit it subscribe and, and go home and tell your 50 friends and, uh, and even if you got two friends tell them too <laughs> yeah man and comment let us know what you guys think as well okay until then 
This is Dwayne J. K. K. A. Dwayne's World signing off. That yeah, clown man. over there is. To the foot, man. <laughs> Stay safe out there, man. Dr. Cartoon's always on that cartoon hustle. All right. Peace.